Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number four from the October November 2022 um, Cambridge Mechanics paper. This is paper four, variant three. This is the 9709 syllabus. And this is a bit of a tricky question, actually. Um, but it's still quite doable. It says a particle P travels in the positive direction along a straight line with constant acceleration. P travels a distance of 52 meters during the second second of its motion and a distance of 64 meters during the fourth second of its motion. Find the initial speed and the acceleration of P. Okay, so we have P going along a straight line with constant acceleration, which we don't know. Let's say this is where time equals zero. It says it travels 52 meters during the second second of its motion. What it means by the second second, like for example, between time equals one and say this is time equals zero, between the time equals zero seconds and one second, that's like the, this is the first second. So the second second would be between time equals one and time equals two. This is considered the second second. This is the second second. Right, and the distance is traveled in that time period is um, 52 meters. Okay, and carried on it says, and it's carried, it's, it's, it's moved a distance of 64 meters during the fourth second. Now, the fourth second, so like between two and three is the third second, between three and four is the fourth second between three and four. So this is the first second, the second second between two and three is the third second. So between time equals three seconds and time equals four seconds, this is considered the, this is considered the fourth second, the fourth second. And it's moved a distance of, in this, this time, 64 meters. So we've got to find the initial speed, which is the speed at this point, which is u and time equals zero. And we've got to find the acceleration. Now, this is where we have to be really careful. We've got to be really careful about how we deal with these um, kind of questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this point A. I'm going to call this point B, this point C, this point D, and this point E. Right? Now, I'm, we've got constant acceleration, so we can use the Suvat equations. Okay, we can use the Suvat equations as we have constant acceleration. So what I'm going to do is I want to have this u in my equations, in all my equations, I want to have u in there, right? This initial velocity when time was zero. So the way to tackle a question like this is to set up some equations. So I'm going to take between a and a to c, okay? And I'm going to take between a to b. That's what I'll do first, all right? I'm going to consider the situation between a and b and a and c, um, and I'm going to set up equation from that. And then um, I'll try and do a similar thing between A and D and A and E, and we'll see how that works. So first of all, A to C, let's, let's write down what we know from SUVAT. Okay, so I'm going to write S-U-V-A-T, and here S-U-V-A-T. So I don't know the distance between A to C, okay? Um, I'm just going to call it. In fact, I can call this x if I want to. But no, I'll just do this. It's easy. I'll just call this the distance between A and C. We don't know what it is. U is what we have to find. One of the things we have to find, that's, it. that's the speed at A. Okay, that's the speed at A. I'm going to call it UA. Just initial speed at A. V, I don't know what it is. That's the, the speed at, at, at C. A is equal to... Um, a, which we have to find, one of the things we have to find. And T is equal to, from A to C, that's going to be two seconds. Okay, now if I'm considering A to B, S, I'll call it the distance between A and B. U is one of the things I want to find, U, A, it's the same as this U. V is the velocity at B, which I don't know. A is A, which we have to find, and T this time is one second. So if I take these two equations, and I, I see I've got to deal with S, U, 
A and T, right? So I can say that the distance between A and C is equal to this, the U, I can use S equals U, I can use S equals U T plus a half A T squared, right? U, S, U, A, and T. So I've got the, the, the initial speed at A, U, A, times time, which is 2, plus a half times acceleration, which is the same for both of them, of course, times 2 squared. So the distance between A and C is going to be 2A, 2 times U, A, sorry. So 2 times the speed at, initial speed at A, plus, that's going to be 4 divided by 2, that's plus 2 times the acceleration A, uh, 2 times A. Okay, and if I consider from A to B, I'm going to say the distance between A and B is equal to U times T, so it's going to be uh, UA times 1 plus a half times A times 1 squared. So the distance between A and B is going to be UA plus a half of the acceleration A. All right, so here, what I know what I know is I've just found an expression for the distance between there and there. That's S-A-C. And I've just found an expression for S-A-B. So I can say the distance between A and C, between B and C, the distance between B and C, I know that's 52 meters. And I can also say the distance between B and C is going to be the difference between these two. The different distance between B and C is the distance between A and C minus the distance between A and B. This length minus that length. So if I subtract these two things that I found, I have 2 times UA plus 2 times acceleration minus, and this is going to be um, UA plus a half A. So SBC is 52, so I've got 52 equals, that's 2 times UA minus 1 times UA, which is UA, and 2a minus a half a, which is going to be 3 over 2a. So that's like one equation. I can make it a bit simpler by multiplying everything by 2. So 104 equals 2ua plus 3 acceleration. So I need to find these two. That's one equation I've got. Now I can do a similar thing for what I've, what I've just done now. I can consider the distance between a and d. I can consider the distance between A and E. Okay, so I can say A to D and A to E. So let's start with A to E. So I can say that if I consider A to E, and I consider A to D. Okay, A to E, that's when time equals four seconds. So again, if I'm considering from A, the speed at A is going to be the same. It's going to be UA, right? So you have to try to keep consistent a point where I know the U's are the same. I can't say you at this point and you at that point, different points. I want the U to be from the same point. So then, you know, I'm finding the initial speed at that point. That's always going to make life easier. That's how you should deal with it. So I'm going to use Suvat again. I am thinking I'm going to run out of space here. I've got space on the next page. Yes, I do. Okay, good. All right. So we can use Suvat again. So we know S is equal to, we're going to call it SAE. And u is equal to ua. And v is equal to the velocity at e. And a is equal to a. And t is going to be four seconds. The third second, the fourth second, sorry, is going to be between time three and time four. Okay? So that's going to be four. By the time it reaches e, t is going to be four. And if I consider a to d, I'll have s equals s a d. And u equals u a. And v equals v at d and A equals A, and T equals 3 seconds. Okay, so I can do a similar thing. I can use S equals UT plus a half A T squared. So I know that the distance between, you know, S A E and S, you can say um, the distance between S A, well, why did I make that go so far? No, I didn't, I didn't, sorry. Okay, the distance between can say the distance between AE and the distance between AD is 64. So I can say that SAD, say SAE minus SAD is equal to 64 meters. So what is SAE first? 
that's going to be u times t. So u a u a is still the same u as this u up there. Okay, times t this time is four plus a half times a times four squared. So this is going to give me four a four u a plus eight a because sixteen divided by two is eight. Okay, so that's for a to e, a to e, and the distance between a and d is going to give you be given by u a times that's when time is three, so it's three plus a half times a times three squared. So the distance between a and d is going to be given by three times u a plus nine over two a. Okay, and I know that. If I subtract these two, I'm going to get the distance between um, D and E. So the distance between D and E is going to be the distance between these two. So it's going to be 4UA plus 8A minus 3UA plus 9 over 2A. So 4 minus 3 is 1, so it's UA. And you got a half minus... 9 over 2. Sorry, 8 minus 9 over 2. So 8, that's 16 over 2, minus 9 over 2. That's going to be 7 over 2, A. And that's equal to the distance S between D and E. And we know the distance between D and E is 64. Okay, so to make this easier, I can multiply by 2. So I have 128 equals 2 times UA plus 7A. So now I have my second equation. So I have these two equations. Okay, I have 104 equals 2ua plus 3a, so I'll write that down first. So I have 104 equals 2ua plus 3a. Okay, that was that equation over there. Make sure I wrote it down, that's right. And um, we got 120, so 104 equals 2ua plus 3a, and this is, 3a yes so I'm just making sure <clears throat> and the second equation is 128 equals 2ua plus 7a 128 equals 2ua plus 7a so this is equation one and two now if I take equation two and subtract equation one the a's will disappear the u's will disappear I'll find the, the, the acceleration so 128 minus 104 is 24 equals and that becomes 0, you're left with 7 minus 3 is 4a, so therefore a is equal to 24 over 4, which is 6 meters per second squared, and to find ua, we can use either of these two equations, let's use the first equation, we have 104 equals 2 times ua plus 3 times 6, so you have 104 minus 18 equals 2ua, so 104 minus 18 divided by 2. So 104 minus 18 and divided by 2, that gives me 43. So U, A, the initial velocity is 43 meters per second. So meters per second, 43 meters per second. And that is the answer to this question, part A. Okay, so we've... It was a bit of a tough one, actually, to be honest, but we got it there in the end, right? So um, you've got to think a little bit about this. We want to, the important thing is we have to realize that the U in our formula must refer to the same place. So I have to keep that, that we're going to find that initial velocity so that U in all of these different equations I use must be related to that same place. So that's why I kept it as AC minus AB is that distance. And AE minus AD is that distance. So my U in each case will be the same. The Vs are different, as you can see, but I avoided using any equation involving V. I used the equation involving S, the distances, because we, we know what they are. U, because I've kept the initial place the same in each case. And A, which is constant throughout the whole thing. And T, which we know. So that's how you can deal with such a question. Um, it's a bit tough, because you have to make like two sets of simultaneous equations, and then you get your answer. All right, so there's your answer to the first part. Now, part B says, find the distance traveled by, by P during the first 10 seconds of its motion. So we know we have to find this distance. 
We know the initial speed, as we just worked out, is 43 meters per second. We don't know its final speed. We know the acceleration, as we worked out, is 6 meters per second squared. And we know the time is 10 seconds. So we can, we got S, U, A, and T. So again, we can use S equals U, T plus a half A, T squared. So the distance we're looking for is equal to U, which is 43, times T, which is 10 plus a half, excuse my handwriting here, times 6 times 10 squared. So that should give us our answer. So we have 43 times 10, which is 430, plus a half times 6, which is 3, times 100, which is going to be 730, 730 meters. So there's the answer to part B, pretty straightforward once we found the acceleration and we know the initial speed, we can work that out quite easily during the first 10 seconds of its motion. Okay, during the first 10 seconds, that's right. So that's, there's no trick there, I think, that's fine. So there's the answer to part B and that concludes this question. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this section over here at the end of the video. Other questions from um, this topic of kinematics, you know, SUVAT, constant acceleration, can be found in the playlist over here. Um, if you want to see some material from my edXL uh, work on constant acceleration SUVAT, you can find that in the playlist in this part over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you so soon.